Coach PJ here. Are you a creature of habit? Are you ready to make a change? Consider how your habits are working for you or working against you in making the change you want to make. As humans, habits are the way our brains make it possible for us to survive without being overloaded. Habits make it easy for us to do routine things without thinking so that we can fo focus on the more important things. If we had to think about everything we did, we would never make it out of the house in the morning. The more habits we have, the less we use our valuable processing power. And this could be a really good thing if the habits are good, like brushing our teeth, putting on our seatbelt, or locking the door. Or habits can be poor, like munching in front of the television, getting caught up in email, or stopping at the local donut shop on your way to the office. If you're ready to make that change, there are four things that need to be present to improve your chance at success. And this comes from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. First, notice the cue, the cue that we experience that triggers us into the habit. It could be your shoes by the front door for a run, a written list of goals on your desk, an alert on your phone. It can be anything, and it is generally obvious you can't miss it. Second, it needs to be attractive. It needs to be something that you want to do or is interesting. We need to get a dopamine rush and excitement about the outcome. Third, you need to make it easy to get started. There should be absolutely no barriers to making progress. The easier it is to start, the better. And lastly, number four, it needs to be satisfying. You need to have a feeling of accomplishment. You need to get a rush. We are wired to enjoy the short-term rush. Therefore, if you can build in short-term gains rather than a long-term gain, it will be easier to shift the habit. Long-term gains are harder for our brains to make the connection between the activity and that feeling of accomplishment that is needed to reward yourself. Think about the habits you want to form in your life. If they don't check all four of the boxes, you may have to think about it a little differently. It will be much more difficult to become a habit if it's missing one of those four elements. If you haven't read Atomic Habits, I encourage you to pick up a copy. If this is something that you're interested in learning more about, I have a number of ways to do that. We can jump on a quick call. We can get together for a coffee meeting. Or if you know that this is absolutely what you need and you want to get started right away, I offer a complimentary coaching session where we can sit down, take a look at your business, and put plans in place to go forward. Your business profit. Until next time.